By the end of this video, you are going to get the best analysis among Hendrick Motorsports drivers for 2024 based on their 2023 stats. Who's going to win the most races? Who has the best probability of winning a championship? And who is going to flop? My name is John DeRuderis, motorsport enthusiast. Let's get into it. 2023 was Hendrick Motorsports year for Mr. William Byron. He had everything going for him. He had the most wins among Hendrick Motorsports drivers. He was tied for the most top fives among Hendrick Motorsports drivers and had the most top tens among Hendrick Motorsports drivers. He also led Hendrick with four poles. Let's start off with Mr. William Byron. In his sixth year in cup in 2023, he had six wins, 15 top fives, 21 top 10s and four poles. He led 1,016 laps, had an average starting place of 10.9, an average finish of 11th. Ended up finishing third in the point standings. Let's go to another Hendrick Motorsports stable, Kyle Larson. This is his 11th year in the Cup Series. In 2023, he had four wins, 15 top fives, 18 top 10s, and two poles. He led 1,127 laps, so more than Byron. Had an average start of 10.4 and an average finish of 14.6. Let's go to probably the third best driver in this stable. You have Chase Elliott. Now, this is just based off of 2023 stats, so don't get mad at me for saying that. But with only running 29 out of 36 races, Chase had zero wins, seven top fives, and 15 top tens. He had no poles and only led 195 laps. He had an average starting place of 17 and an average finishing position of 13.1. Now let's go to what a lot of people are going to say is probably the bottom of the barrel when it comes to NASCAR drivers for Hendrick Motorsports in their current driver lineup. Alex Bowman. In 2023, he raced 33 out of the 36 races. He had zero wins, four top fives, and 10 top tens. He had one pole and only led 89 laps. He had an average starting position of 17.2 and an average finishing position of 17.2. So overall, statistically, not a great year for Mr. Bowman. Now let's look a little bit deeper into the 2023 season and where Hendrick Motorsports was strong. You saw William Byron pretty much dominate all the mile and a half, talk about Las Vegas, talk about Darlington, talk about Atlanta, he got a win there. And let's talk about the short tracks. They were really good at Richmond. Kyle Larson won the race. Alex Bowman got the pole in the spring race. Kyle Larson also won at Martinsville that year. So at short tracks, that is where their strength is, intermediate and short tracks. You also saw Hendrick Motorsports sweep Darlington and get a pole at Kansas. And let's not forget about William Byron's surprise win at Watkins Glen, absolutely blowing everybody out of the water. So what does this mean for 2023? What are we going to see? Well, I think that dominance at short tracks and at intermediate, such as at Las Vegas, looking at Richmond, looking at Martinsville, looking at uh, Atlanta, at Kansas, those are going to be some of the strongest tracks for Hendrick Motorsports. And let's not forget about Texas. They won at Texas as well. So another intermediate mile and a half. But let's talk about a driver who probably had a very underwhelming 2023, Mr. Chase Elliott. Chase Elliott, you know, he had his injury, was out for a period of time, came back, didn't really get back into true form, but saw glimpses of that. And so you had one of the best, probably the best road course driver for Hendrick Motorsports, Chase Elliott, not doing very well. So I think Chase Elliott is going to come back in 2023 with the vengeance. And that's why I think he's going to perform better than two Hendrick Motorsports drivers. Now let's talk about Alex Bowman. Alex Bowman is notorious for a few things. Getting poles at super speedways, and that's about it. He got the pole for duel number one. He got the pole for the Daytona 500 as well. And he also got the pole at Richmond, which is somewhat surprising, but Hendrick Motorsports brought a good package there. And a lot of you are going to say, you know, William Byron was there at the right time. He won a lot of races because others had some issues. You know, that's the case, but also he put himself in the position to win. And that just gave that team confidence, which has allowed them to become one of the top championship contenders in 2024. Now let's get down to the meat of this. My prediction for 2024 for all Hendrick Motorsports drivers. Let's start with driver number four, who's going to finish the worst out of all of these drivers. I think it's going to be Alex Bowman. Now, I think he will get one win, but I just don't think he's going to do well. I think he's going to get maybe a surprise win at Daytona. You think about that for a second. He may try to get a win at a short track. I want to see him get a little bit better at Martinsville, but Richmond's probably his best shot. I don't think he's going to have a crazy year, but I think his stats are going to improve just a little bit. I believe he'll race the entire schedule. I think he'll get seven top five, 11 top tens, and two poles. And let's throw a win in there at Daytona. Why not? Now let's go to the driver who's going to finish third among all Hendrick Motorsports drivers this year. Going to be a little bit surprising when I say this. Kyle Larson. He did have four wins, 15 top fives. He's a strong contender, but I think this year is going to be a little bit of a step back for him. I don't think he's going to do as well. I think he's going to make the playoffs, but I only think he's going to get three wins. 
And those wins are probably going to come at some of those mile and a half, maybe a Kansas, maybe a Darlington in the spring race, and maybe even a Martinsville. I think you'll get somewhere around 13 top fives, 16 top tens, and two poles. Now let's move to the driver that I believe is going to finish second among all Hendrick Motorsports drivers. And a lot of people are not going to like this answer. Chase Elliott. Now, I think Chase Elliott actually has a slightly better statistical year than the driver who's going to be number one, which is William Byron. But I think he is not going to be able to get it done in the playoffs. I think Chase Elliott is going to get a handful of wins. You may see him get four, and I believe he'll get back into form. I think he's going to have a strong 2024. I think he'll have four wins, 15 top fives, 16 top tens, Actually, let's bump that up to, to 18. Let's do 18 top 10s and four poles. I think he's going to win at a road course. I think he could win at an intermediate track as long as they give him a good package. And let's see what he does. He may sweep some of the road courses. I mean, look at Watkins Glen. Great track for him. He definitely wants to get a win there. Look at some of these other road courses. Maybe Coda. You may see him do something there. I think he's going to get at least one, if not two wins at road courses. The others are probably going to be a mile and a half. Now, going purely off of momentum, I think the best driver for 2024, taking all of my bias out of this, is going to be William Byron. The reason why I'm saying this is because he had such a strong 2023. He had six wins, 15 top fives, 21 top tens. He was consistent, and he had a little bit of a lull here and there, but he was the most consistent driver out of all these, and I love consistency. When you show consistency, that means you can go far in the playoffs. And the races that he won in 2023 were the races he needed to win going into the playoffs. Look at Darlington, look at Kansas, look at all those tracks that he did very, very well at. Those are the same tracks that you saw in the playoffs. He's done very well at Martinsville. He's done very well at Phoenix. He went back to back from Vegas to Phoenix in 2023. And that proved to me that he can win at the track that you need to win at most, which is Phoenix. That's the big one because that's the last race of the year. My prediction for William Byron in 2024 is going to be very similar to what he had in 2023. I think he'll get anywhere between five to six wins. I think his consistency is going to increase. I think he may have 17 top fives, maybe 20 top tens. I'll say he get anywhere between three to five poles. And I think he will be, if not one, but two of championship contenders going into Phoenix alongside his teammate, Chase Elliott. So with all of that, William Byron is going to be the best driver for Hendrick Motorsports in 2024, carrying that momentum, followed by a comeback year with Chase Elliott. Third is going to be Kyle Larson with a strong year, and then Alex Bowman is just going to be Alex Bowman and get poles and not wins, specifically at Daytona. That is my prediction for all Hendrick Motorsports drivers in 2024. If you enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be posting tons more videos just like this before the season starts at The Clash and specifically the Daytona 500, which is coming up in just about a month. Thank you guys. I'll see you next time.